Turning now to the latest on the coronavirus in Connecticut, the spread of the disease is slowing in our state. The numbers continue to be good. Just 27 new cases reported yesterday. Only three more deaths were reported and hospitalizations dropped all the way down to 140. So while the numbers may be trending down here in Connecticut, that's not necessarily the case everywhere. Yeah, a lot of states are seeing spikes and our governor wants to make sure those spikes don't involve spreading the virus here. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Carolina Cruz is live at Bradley International Airport this morning. What does travel look like there right now? It's pretty busy. There are more than a handful of flights that are departing by 7 this morning. And all of the passengers that we've seen here have been doing a really good job of wearing a face mask, trying to keep that distance. But there are reminders throughout the airport here at Bradley. They're colored in orange, reminding people to keep that six feet of distance, remembering, er, reminding them to wear their face mask. And now we know that Connecticut is working with tri-states, including New York and New Jersey, Massachusetts and Rhode Island, to figure out a plan for some of those states that are hardest hit and people that are traveling here from there. People are coming up that are snowbirds, especially. Who knows who they've been in contact with? Well, I think it's better to be safe than sorry. Some of those states uh, that are colored in red there on that map, they are the ones to look out for, including Texas, California, Arizona, Florida. Red means that a higher percentage of people are testing positive, and some state leaders say that we are the best state in the country when it comes to percentage of positive cases. We are down to about 1%. That's compared to other states that are nearing 10%. And yesterday, during his press briefing, Governor Ned Lamont said that he may be requiring people that are traveling from some of those states that were colored in red to either self-quarantine or to show that they have been tested for COVID-19. But that's still to be determined. Reporting from Bradley International Airport, I'm Carolina Cruz, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.